Karen Griffiths only has a few final photos of her son Jason on his cruise to New Zealand in 2019. The 33 year old died shortly after being injured in the terrible explosion on Fakari, White Island. He was always the child that would do everything for us and now we don't have him. Gets me every time. Jason Griffith spent thousands of dollars on his American Express card for his cruise tickets, giving him complimentary travel insurance. But his loss of life claim has now been rejected based on where he was when he was fatally injured. It was just like a kick in the guts. I feel really, really deflated that they don't care. American Express travel can help card members make the most of their journeys. Chubb, the company which underwrites the insurance for American Express, rejected the claim because Mr Griffiths was touring the island when he was fatally injured. Had he been on the cruise ship or being transported to or from it, it says he would have been covered. I think that Chubb really needs to reflect uh, on the Royal Commission which we had, uh, which dealt with these types of insurance products and the way in which insurers treat these kinds of claims. After being contacted by ABC News, American Express said while his death was not covered by his policy, it would now reach out to his family to offer some financial assistance, although declined to add further details. Two of Jason's friends, Rick Elzer and Carla Matthews, were also killed in the eruption. They're among the 22 who lost their lives. Karen Griffiths plans to fight in her son's name when all she has now are her memories. Josh Bavis, ABC News.